Hey guys, what's up? Uh, <clears throat> it's been a little while, been busy, um, but I figured, ah, sore, got back in the gym yesterday, I figured um, I'd make a video, it's such a huge week, um, long week, obviously, I think this extra time probably, hopefully, is going to help us <clears throat> going against the Patriots, um, it seems like everybody's picking the Patriots, everything I see, um, people are picking them, they have the momentum, won six games in a row, and we've been winning, drop, winning a game, losing a game, winning a game, losing a game, so I'm not mad at, I'm not really too mad at that, I think the spread has us um, up by three only because we're at home, right, I think if it was in New England, they'd probably be up by three, so... I like being in this underdog role for us and this team a lot more than I like us being the um, favorite. Especially in these um, bigger games. I think we play better that way. You know, I just think that's that's better for us. Um, Patriots are a good team. Now, a lot of the things that people say about us, you can also say about the Patriots. And they've had a really easy schedule. In fact, probably easier than ours. Um, mentioned it a million times, but the schedule makers did us no favors. Scheduling both of our Patriots games late. Now we get to play them both times without Trey White. Which every other team we played didn't, you know, so. Gave them a chance to get their rookie quarterback settled. Anyways, I've talked about that a lot. Um, but they haven't really beat anyone either. I mean, right now, the way things are turning out, our big win against Kansas City is going to look like a really good win. Kansas City is right back in it. You know, in fact, um, I think a couple weeks ago, or I said it was us and the Titans, maybe, and the Pats or whatever. You know, I don't think the Titans are, are a um, Super Bowl team anymore. The AFC is... is it's really crazy right now. I honestly think the Chiefs now are back to maybe being the favorites. Yeah, because I think I look like this. Everyone's high on the Patriots. But if it's the Patriots and Chiefs in the AFC Championship game, <clears throat> I'm taking the Chiefs. Sorry, I'm not taking Mac Jones. That's just me. Um... I know the, the, the DN Kansas City got really helped them. They traded for or picked up because it made them to move um, Chris Jones back inside. So, anyways, enough on them. Patriots. Patriots, Patriots, Patriots. How tough is our schedule coming up? Well, we play two of the top three defenses in the league in three of our games. We play the Pats twice in Carolina. Carolina is the best pass defense. They're giving up like 170 a game. So, you know. Now they lost McCaffrey, so, you know, can they beat us? Probably not. But that defense is going to be tough. Um, we also play Tampa Bay, who is, like, the best run defense. I know their pass defense is, like, 20 and maybe a little banged up, but they're still a good defense, you know, really fast linebackers, and they play good nickel, so. And then you got the Pats, really good D. Um, if there's a player that I'm most worried about on the Patriots, it's Judon. A lot of people met J.C. Jackson, but really... The pressure Judon puts on could make JC get the picks, right? And he'll get the credit if that happens. But really, it's the pressure. It's the pressure. For somehow, we have to block Judon and the other guys, too. But, you know, and everyone in their safety can pick the ball off. Everyone's got about two or three picks. So, it's a big one. It's a big one. we got to be able to block. I think our defense will be all right. Because they're not really... The teams I'm worried about playing without having Trey are the big receiver teams. It's not like Trey was going to guard Hunter Henry, really, or John Smith anyway. So, um, I would be more worried about a Kansas City now without Trey or... or um, and the ASC, I'm trying to think. Um, maybe even, like, Cincinnati with Jamar Chase. I wouldn't... I, that might be tough. Um, so, anyways, I think our defense can do pretty good. You know, if there's, let's say there's no turnovers, you know, and nothing crazy, no no crazy special team stuff, um, I think we can hold them to like 20 
from like 17 to 24, 27, you know, if they get another late field goal. But like, if we don't turn the ball over and give them crazy field position, I don't see the pass getting 30 on us. So now here's the flip to that. Can we get 30 on their defense? You know, I was always going to be really nervous about these games just because I know how Belichick is and we beat them twice last year and embarrassed them. You know, there's the video on my channel where he flips out, where he smashes the phone um, when Knox catches just that stupid first down, but he, he just felt embarrassed. We actually took it easy on them last year. If you go to the second pass game, we were blowing them out and Diggs had the three touchdowns. We could have kept scoring that game. McDermott took his foot off the pedal, which Belichick wouldn't have. So now maybe McDermott did that because he didn't want I, I just think that he really built this team more to beat us than he did to beat the Chiefs and, and like other teams. I really do. I think that's how he thinks, going to get the division first, which is the way he should think. So he really, all this $200 million they put into this team was, was, was around kind of beating us, you know, the tight ends. And it's obviously around the way they want to play, too. I'm not just saying that was the only reason they signed a lot of these guys, but a lot, that was a thing in my, they had in mind, I think. You know, the tight ends, just the way, that, the way they're going to do it. So... We have to we have to score touchdowns, right? Just kicking field goals, we won't get to thirty or, or high twenties. We have to score some touchdowns and still kick a couple field. We we got it. We got to get twenty seven points. That's the way I feel about this one. If I had to pick a score, I would say twenty seven twenty Bills, or even thirty Bills Pats twenty one somewhere in that range would be my score pick. Um. Two of the top defenses, minus Trey White, but two of the top defenses. So, we we should be getting basically everybody back this week. And, and, and uh, you know, if we actually get, like, Feliciano, too, but just Spencer Brown. Just the fact that Spencer Brown, it takes away from, like, two spots because it puts him at tackle, and then it kicks in. This, this dog. What are you doing? Um, it kicks in Daryl Williams. Playing by herself, funny. Um, you want to make noise? You want attention? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Stop playing with that while I'm doing stuff. Stop doing that. Yeah, that freaking dog is annoying. All right, guys. What is this? Eight minutes, anyways. Yeah, maybe I'll um make another video here and, and clip it in. But um, go Bills.